Hi everybody, this is Mark from Mark's Mandalas and welcome to the Childhood Cancer Awareness Dot Mandala Tutorial. Um, as you see, I've just laid down the center dot and now I'm placing my first four dots. And when I do the first four dots, I like to visualize an analog clock face, placing a dot at the 12, 6, 3, and 9 o'clock. Another visualization you can use is a compass face, visualizing the north, south, east, and west uh, visualization. And this is going to be a 16 dot pattern. So once I place the first four dots, I'm going to place another dot in between each of those first four dots. Um, and I'm gonna repeat that process one more time to give me a total of 16 dots. And I'm doing things a little bit differently on this tutorial. I'm trying to continue to evolve. Uh, one of the things is I am adding the tool size to the bottom of the screen whenever I change tool sizes. Um, I'm also playing the first couple of dots at uh, closer to, to normal speed, and then I'm playing the rest of them faster. Uh, that's to keep the, the tutorial moving along briskly and not getting too stale. Uh, but I still wanted to give you an opportunity to see a couple of times uh, as far as dipping the tool into the paint and placing the dots at a, a more normal speed. And as you can see, every time that I'm, I'm doing a new circle of dots, I'm placing the dots in between the previous circle of dots as far as I'm, I'm dividing them and it creates kind of a triangle pattern. If you stop and look, that, uh, that outer dot with the two underneath it create a triangle shape, and that's another one of my visualizations. Um, I'm gonna have a link to a visualization and tip sheet that I created in the description below in the video. So if you'd like to take a look at that, that can give you a better idea as far as what I'm talking about. Um, and it's probably kind of hard to tell from this, but I also, I like to paint across from me. I like to paint at my 12 o'clock. Uh, it gives me a better line of sight. That's another, I visualize a straight line and that's another uh, image I have in that sheet that I have in the description below. And that just helps me keep my, my balance throughout the entire uh, process. Uh, something else I like to do that also helps keep uh, the dots uh, more balanced for me is I, I continue doing the first four dots in the clock face or the compass face approach and then I divide from there. I don't do it 100% of the time, but I do it most of the time and I think that repetition uh, helps with my consistency. And I'm going to be doing one more circle of dots after this one, and that is going to be all of the main dots. From there, I'm going to be working on the border. And then after that paint dries, I'm going to be adding top dots and then accent dots. You can stop anytime you want to during this whole process when you're happy with the, with the results. If you like just the gold, you can stop right there. If you want to add... Uh, if you don't want to add the border, you don't have to add the border. You can do it any way that you want to. Um, now I'm going to be placing, I place a smaller dot at the top of, um, at the 12 o'clock, I guess I would say, of the next to last circle of dots. And that's going to be an anchor dot for my, my border. Um, now I'm going to be working on the outside of of the, the border and you're going to see me draw an imaginary line down the middle of that that most outer dot and I'm visualizing from the center dot going outward and then I go off just a little bit to the left and then I paint the second dot to the right and um, I do that throughout this entire process and it's just a technique to try to help me keep everything as evenly spaced apart as possible. Um, I, I like painting freehand, so I like using visualizations versus drawing a bunch of lines out. Uh, that's just my personal preference. Uh, once I have those laid out, I'm going to place a little larger dot on the outside of the border. And it creates a, a triangle shape. And once those, all of those are placed, I'm going to start walking the dots to finish, uh, finish the border. And as you can see, I am walking the dots just on one side. And 
Uh, I found for me that it's more comfortable for me to paint on the left side or on my left side uh, on the far side of the rock. But when I'm done with that, on the right side of the dot, I like to paint closer to me. I'm not sure why that is. It just, it works better for me. It's a personal preference. So whatever you're most comfortable doing is the way that you should do it. And I do try to paint the same amount of dots when I'm walking the dots. Uh, for the most part, I'm trying to do four in this case. But if you end up doing five or you do three, that's, that's totally fine as well. You don't have to be consistent every single time. Um, now that that gold paint has had a chance to dry, I'm going to start painting all the top dots. And you'll notice I have the color at the bottom and what type of childhood cancer um, it represents. There are awareness colors for many different causes and, and this particular piece is for childhood cancer. So um, I wanted this video to be educational on a couple of different fronts. So I wanted to share what each of these different top dots represent. Now that first smaller circle of dots in the lavender, it's kind of hard to see, but as I go further out into the larger dots and darker colors, uh, you'll tend to be able to see easier where I'm placing the dots. And these are center top dots. Um, there are other different styles of top dots, but for this piece, I'm doing center. I would like for you to be able to give me some feedback, if you would, on if you like the style of my tutorials that I'm doing, uh, please let me know what you like about them and what you would like to see me do differently. Uh, if you like certain things sped up or slowed down, um, I'm going to be really working hard to, to, uh, to release at least one video every week. If I can uh, get them done quickly enough, I would like to be uh, doing two, but I want at least one. It's important for me to try to get at least one video out every week. Um, as long as it's not just cranking something out. I want it to be uh, uh, some quality content, something you can learn from or that you uh, hopefully enjoy watching. So please give me your feedback. Um, if you like what I'm doing, I also ask that you like any of the videos that you, that you find helpful. Please share it with others. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, that would be um, a lot of help to me. Now I have just a couple more circles of, of top dots to do. And once those are done, I'm going to be moving on to the accent dots. And when I get to the accent dots, um, I'm going to be using the same size tool a couple different times. And uh, we're going to be there in just a few seconds. So I'm going to let you go ahead and, and watch me do this last circle of top dots. And then when we get to the accent dots, I'll explain what I'm doing. So now we're on the accent dots and they're extremely small. The first circle of dots, I'm putting two dots in between each of the uh, dots in the circle. And I'm barely dipping the size one tool into the paint just to break the surface tension in the first circle. The second circle of dots, I'm dipping the tool a little bit more to create a little bit larger accent dot. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the next two circle of dots as well. Um, I go to a size two. I try a size one. It's a little bit too small though. So I move up to a size two and I continue the same two dot pattern in between each dot. And I have less paint in that third circle of dots going outward. And then the next circle of dots, I add more paint to the tool. And from there, I'm going to go out to a size three. And then a size four will be the last circle of dots. And I hope that you find this uh, particular tutorial inspiring. And I hope it's something you want to give a try. And uh, I got a little cherry on top at the very end of this. Um, I put a gold, a second gold center top dot on the center dot. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you enjoy this finished piece. This is Mark from Marks Mandalas. Until next time, rock on.